guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a get ready with me, um, sort of like a church edition. Um, I show you my outfit and sorry in the beginning my hair was not done, but that's how I do the process every morning because, you know, I need to get ready first, blah, blah, blah. So for the hair, because it's like dirty, I couldn't put it down. I just did like the, um, I did the ponytail and I turned it inside and then out right here so I didn't curl it or anything it's just a little bit of hairspray and bam bam I'm out the door yes so I was looking for a different color but once I put the white on the ash on the eyelid came out a little different so anyways I, I went with the flow it doesn't matter I really like the color because it goes with this cool tone um, lippy from elf um, it is called um, T Rose, and I love it. I really, 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 really love it. I'm not into cool tones much. You guys know I like neutrals, but warm neutrals. But um, I really like it. And that highlight, though, OMG, beautiful. I I just love it. It's beautiful, beautiful. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope I can do more videos like this, like more get ready with me. Because they're a little easier. Either I do voiceover or just put music in the background. But um, I hope you guys like these videos. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I hope to, I hope to see you in the next Okay guys, you guessed it. We're going to start with peach smoothie and we're going to put it right there in the crease. And I'm using a brush from Sephora Dome Brush. That way I can just pack it right there. Then I'm going to get that cool tone color from the VH Cosmetics palette. I believe the second palette. And just put it in the, in the crease and blending it out. I'm going to use this jumbo pencil from NYX called Milk. Just so um, the color can be intensified a little more. And I'm going to use that lavender right there. And just packing it on the lid. And then I'm going to come with that uh, blending brush. And just blending the edges. Making sure that you know everything is smooth. Then I'm going to get that dark um, purple. But do you see that blue? Well, I'm, right here I'm adding the blue. Because that purple and the brown wasn't dark enough for me. So again, I'm going to deposit the color, blend it, and I again, deposit the color and blend it again. We just want everything to be nice and blended and seamless. No harsh lines at all. Then I'm going to follow up with Creme Brulee from Wet n Wild and just highlight the brow bone. And then I'm going to go ahead and marry those two colors together. I'm going to use this liquid liner for an NYC. And I noticed that I was not recording, like I'm, I was out of frame. That's why you don't see most of the... the process but I'm sorry I try to I'll try my best next time and then I'm just gonna do the regular thing with my mascara first non waterproof then waterproof um, I will link a first impression again of that that mascara of um, covergirl then I'm gonna use that corrector and I'm going to use it under the eyes and then as you can see I did burn myself on the neck with the new me reverse one so I'm just covering that up and using that foundation from Maybelline Fit Me. I'm adding a little bit of um, powder because I got this um, advice from Nikki Tutorials and I'm, I'm so far I'm liking it. It actually helps your foundation to be a little thicker, be more full coverage and stay longer in your face throughout the day. And again, I'm gonna um, use that sponge and then I'm gonna use these two concealers. One is um, yellow undertone and the other one is pink undertone. That one, the pink undertone, the Maybelline one, that one is really matte. I really like it um, because I get oily with the other one. So I am blending that out, all the edges, making sure everything is nice and blended. And I'm going to follow up um, with the air spun powder that is coming right in a minute. And that brush is from Sigma. And I'll put the, the number of the, the brush on the bottom bar. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and bake this powder uh, where I put the concealer so everything is nice and bright and nothing creases. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, Rainbow London uh, Stay Matte found the, um, Powder all over the face, outside, well not all over but outside the face. 
And then after a while then, after blending, 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 I'm gonna take off the excess of the airspun powder with the same brush. That way the two powders kind of marry together so it's not like just white, white and then nude beige or anything like that. Then I'm gonna use that powder from L'Oreal and I'm gonna go ahead and contour. You guys have seen me several times how I contour, but um, as you can see, I'm just gonna give some shape to my face. I'm gonna pinch the brush, um, do my nose, and then blend it really well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my, um, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just go ahead and carve that contour. And the reason why I do that one is because I don't like to have it white. That's why I use my face. And the blush is from NYX. The highlighter is from Wet n Wild. I love that highlighter. And you already know highlight everywhere you want to bring out. And I'm going to dust off that um, excess of powder there so you can see that my contour is nice and sharp. And I'm going to put that jumbo pencil under the bottom, um, the bottom um, eye. And depositing all the colors that I use on the top, I'm going to put it on the bottom except the lid color. I did not put that on the bottom. Then I'm going to use that Sassy from the Balm Cosmetics um, uh, palette and just putting it right in the ear, um, the not ear, the eye corner, the inside of the eye, the inside corner. And then I'm going to follow up with the um, eye cold pencil from Rimmel. And then I kind of put it really tight so it transfers up because I have the contacts and it hurts if I tagline. And same thing with the bottom lashes first, L'Oreal and then water and then the waterproof one. I'm here frustrated because I got it on my lit on my makeup, so I removed it most of it with a Q-tip. So if you messed up, just let the um, mascara dry and then rub it off. Then I'm gonna use this lip liner from CoverGirl. I was a little upset because it really it didn't even give me any color, but anyways. I'm gonna follow it up with that matte um, lipstick from uh, e.l.f. called Tea Rose. And then I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting it on my lips, putting it on, come on. Oh yeah, more and more and more. There's never enough. And then I'm gonna follow it up with Tawny from Jordana just to give you more definition because the one from CoverGirl didn't, didn't do anything to me. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.